Hello everyone! Welcome once again to Janice May's Paper Beads channel. Today I'm going to show you something that I made out of paper. Um, I am very pleased with the results. Um, it has the matching earrings and let me uh, show you the necklace. So this is what I call a true mixed media piece, but the star of the show is this big focal bead here. And um, I'm gonna show you how to make the bead from start to finish. So this is the necklace up close. Uh, by the way, we're just doing this video in the kitchen lighting is better here but I love how this turned out um, this is so me I like uh, unusual eclectic kind of jewelry so the story is that the this tassel this was a pair of earrings so I still have one more of these um, I bought this in the Philippines when I was there and it's very I inexpensive uh, but um, it was not comfortable to wear so I stopped wearing it and um, so I just want to make a use for it I have this around paper beads I carry this in my Etsy shop I just want to tell you a story first about the rest of it. And these here are uh, cotton pearls. So this is very light also. I thought it will match very well with the paper beads because uh, this is 100% cotton inside and it's uh, just glazed with, uh, with a pearl color. And um, these are paper beads they are tube beads um, that's also from my own collection and this is like a silk silk fabric and I embroidered it uh, with the uh, petite or the olive shaped paper beads and this is actually reversible so this is I think this this is more of like the front of it so um it started out as a yo-yo bead if you're familiar with that and these are just beads that i've had for a long time and they are um i think uh, fiber optic beads that's what you call them and then yeah and i just like that you know random kind of design uh, thing going on here so and finally the focal bead which I would want to talk to you about is made from this um, tape you know um, you see this when you go to um, when you go to the home goods they are uh, sister of TG Maxx I think and you know um, they are hanging from the wall where you can take them to measure your furniture or use it as a measuring tape and you know what do you do after that you know pe mostly people just discard them so I picked up a couple of them well this one I used and this one I just uh, got it from there for as a sample so yeah if you go I don't suggest that you go picking out a bunch <laughs> it's just that if you're there and you're using it as a tape um, this will be a good project for it so you see it came out really pretty it's hard it's it's look it's like a real bead really so let's go over the materials 
So the materials are, uh, let's start with our glazes. So this is what I use to glue the ends of the big bead because I find, but you can just use whatever glue you have. It just so happened that I have this and I find that this really sticks good. And then we have the Amazing Base. I know the Amazing Base uh, is not available, but uh, we, we restock on the Amazing Base, so it's going to be available soon in my shop. And then we finish it off with the Vibrance. So that's what's gonna make it uh, waterproof and hard. And then just little brush now it doesn't have to be this kind but whatever brush you have um, a paper plate so this is where we'll be rolling the bead in there and then I'm using a bamboo roller so I don't know you may want to use like a, a barbecue skewer or something uh, because you need a roller that's big enough to accommodate that oops and this one is not big enough okay let me see if I have one that would fit and scissors let me just cut off the ends right here so we will be using the full tape measuring tape so let me just put this aside right there and then we start rolling this bead. It's gonna be a mongoose bead. So we can start, I guess, here. Um, this part here. So this is how you use our bamboo roller. Now you're asking, I have several videos. Um, so again, use uh, a barbecue skewer, a uh, chopsticks maybe, that, that would make your hole bigger, but if you don't mind that, and you would wanna incorporate that into your design as like uh, a bead with a big hole, then by all means, go for it, so. Okay, okay, now we're ready to start. So, you want it tight, um, but you know the glazes that we're going to be using will also tighten your bead so this is what you do you just you know we have a long way to go so i'm gonna take you off cam in a bit um i don't want to bore you watch this whole thing <music> can see I reposition how I hold um, the roller and the bead okay now need um, something a long toothpick and then just do this apply the glue now um, hold it like that for about maybe 10 seconds 
just to have the glue dry a little bit so it sticks a lot better. So now you would slowly, now I would try as much as I can not to get the bead in the rest of, I mean the, the glue, the rest of the bead because it, um, it leaves like a residue that doesn't look good after. Let me just grab the paper towel. Okay. So yeah, you need something, a rag, paper towel handy. So now held it for like 10 seconds. Okay. So you see, now it's good, but it gives, the glue gives like a hard, like a rough residue. So I can wipe that off later if I want to. Now I take it out of, from the roller, just like so. And there you have it. You have a tightly woven huge bead that has that like funky design almost, but it says TJX, rewards. <laughs> so it can be a present as a key holder to some TJ Maxx lover. I am one of those people. So <laughs> now it's uh, time for us to glaze our bead. So now I'm go going to clean up this uh, glue residue it's normally okay for you to just like spread the glue to the rest of the bead, but this paper for some reason doesn't like that. It's like rough. So you have to just do whatever you think is best. So what I did, with, <laughs> this is a twisty tie that I'm using, you know, I just like thought of using it because it's been like sitting right there in front of me like calling me out use me use me <laughs> because you know I don't throw things like that so we can always use it for something like now so what we do is uh, we will be uh, dipping it into the amazing base first so need to shake gently your amazing base because it has the polymer that's uh, settled to the bottom of the jar and you don't want that okay so it looks like this it looks like chalk white like milk so do not set it out where you know kids or cats will think that it's uh that it's milk you know the poor things okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna dip it like so okay all the way and then I take it out and then I rest it here in the plate. Now the other thing that I suggest would be, uh, would come in handy is a little fan, a little personal fan. And I have one, <laughs> it's actually cute because I picked that up from Korea from Seoul when I was there. Just stop over. It's kind of expensive, but uh, now they're selling that in Daiso. And I think it's only like $3 or something. So I'm talking about this. See? So. Or any kind of. mini fan or whatever fan you have it just you know 
makes the work faster. And then, and then you can uh, dip it for the second time. So part there. Um, yeah, now let's dip it for the second time. Second dip. Uh, I'm. Um, I I uh, changed. I switch the sides. Now I had this one go in first, and you can actually just I don't know, roll it like so. Oh, that's cool. Okay, and just take off the excess. Now you are making a masterpiece, so be patient, be patient, okay, and that's the fan. Now you can also string this in a, a fishing line. That's what I would suggest, but I don't have one. So you just have to make do with what you have. And you need to, even after uh, using the fan, you can still hang it dry some more, you know? Or you can just let it sit in a cup like this, okay? So this is actually um, like almost dry. And um, we can now dip it. So we did that twice. We, we dipped it twice with a mason base. And so now we can dip it. Um, and the vibrance so the vibrance does not need to be shaken okay and it has a different color this is more of like uh, um i don't know it's more of like it's not white it's kind of creamy so uh i mean cream in color so I'm gonna go ahead and dip this like so. Okay. Again. Okay, just so the vibrance has more of like a smooth consistency to it and it just glides you know, like so I'm gonna dry it some more I would um, I'm just going and stopping I would uh, you know watch this very carefully and try to change position every once in a while I think this is really best done uh, using a fishing line so if you can hang it outside and you can do this and change position you know and just take off the excess or that way okay and I even would use my finger I see bubbles I see bubbles okay that's something that you need to be careful about 